Hi, everybody, Hi. and welcome to Southern Twist Yarns. I'm Brenda. And I'm Evie. And we are located here in beautiful Fairhope, Alabama, Alabama. where pretty. the sun is just getting ready to set because it's after hours. We've closed the shop. So, so we, we can talk to you. So we could talk to you without interruption, without telephones and people coming in. <laughs> exactly. Not that we don't love people coming in. That's true. We That's do, true. but it's kind of hard to, to talk. It is. So to you while to we're you. talking to them. Right, right. <laughs> So, um, last week, oh, and first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed. It's really, it, it makes me feel good that we already have, what, over 50 people? Yeah, have, I mean, 50, in one week. Yeah, in one week. So, that was good. So, after we ran this, I went to a cocktail party, yes. and I told all of our friends and neighbors that we now had a YouTube channel, and everybody got out their phone and started subscribing. It was really fun. <laughs> And you know that is cool, and the fact that you got to go to a cocktail party. Know, it was outside, I know, I know yes, but it still, was. it was outside. It's just such a wonderful so feeling nice to finally be out and about and around people. And and I hopefully it gets Missed better. It so much. We're we're still having um, a little bit of issues here, and we should probably talk about that. You know, we don't require masks right. at all when you come in, but um, we do wear our masks we when do. we're in the shop. Correct. So. You know, we just want to even keep though we've, we've been safe. vaccinated, yeah, but we still wear our masks. It's just, it's just, it's just we want to keep everybody yeah. safe, and we want and you to be healthy. safe too, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so last week yes. we told you about a new knit along that we're doing in the yeah. shop called Broadleaf, and it is a brioche sweater. Yeah. And we showed you our little samples. Well, Eb had her started. I just was yeah. back on mine with uh, a little bit of sample, but we want to give you an update. You look at this! Isn't th then that isn't it just gorgeous? Oh, it is absolutely. I'm just stunning. thrilled to death with this. This is again, I life in the long grass, which I am loving. My first time to really use life in the long grass, and I adore it. Um, this is the back, which is also beautiful. It's still really pretty. It is pretty, but the I think that the um, brioche the really pops. pops on the front. And what I've learned, so I think there's six repeats here now. Mm -hmm. um, you actually can memorize this pattern quickly. You can. It's not super, I don't even, super complicated. I don't even have to get the pattern out anymore because where the increases are, once you know brioche, where the increases are, they follow. And your increase is in the leg of the last increase. And it's it just follows. And like, um, there's only one row that has uh, knit threes together. Right. Or right. increases. Yeah. One row out of the... Out of the um, <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. Two, four. Four in each. There's four. Four rows, basically, isn't it? Four rows or eight? Eight. eight the rows. whole pattern's eight. Oh, yes, six. Yeah. Six. It's six. It's six. It's six. Like I said, yes. I just do it now. I don't even. I don't even think about yeah, it. It's but six. anyways, so there's only one row in a section that has anything to do. The rest of it's just generic knit pearl. And, with yeah, and, and and it's really it's really stunning. And one of the things right. that's really cool about this pattern, and I don't know if E B will decide to do it or maybe not, you do you have the option to do a stockinette back or you right. can do the brioche back. Or if you turn it around, right. you could do this on your back. Right. You and can, you'd have two sweaters. And you would. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it and it would be really mm -hmm. pretty. Mm -hmm. um, it, and it's a fun pattern. Yep. Show them yours. So, you know, last <laughs> week um, she made fun of me because I couldn't make oh, up my mind. Oh, heck. <laughs> It's oh, okay. Heck. I'm a big girl. I can take you it. You can take um, it. So, you know, I showed you those really bright colors. Well, look. Isn't this it great? is how it's working out. I think it's super cool. It's really fun. It's really it's bright. So fun. My husband said that he'll be able to find me anywhere oh, I yeah. go anywhere. Oh, yeah. Yes. You now, will be spotted. Um, my, because mine is a riot of color, it is a riot of color, and it's not right. quite as noticeable in the brioche. I mean, it kind right. of once you stretch it, but right. you can't really quite see the, the brioche. brioche as much. Right. So this is probably the way I'll wear it. But I think it's super cool. It's really fun, and it's really pretty, and I am really enjoying knitting it. It, it really, really is fun. Right. And we had... Um, and yeah. I wasn't here this morning. I had to go get, you know, right. I had to go get my locks done. And so <laughs> Brenda beautiful. was on her own. Well, thank you. But you. She was on her own this morning and she, she was able to help. I was. I, 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 was I fixed a couple of people's and um, cool. then I couldn't fix mine. <laughs> it taxed my brain. Brioche, repairing brioche is not easy. No, it's not. Um, so it, it. It takes a little bit of brain power as well. You've got to really be on able the to decreases. Your stitches, it's yeah. when you're doing decreases that if you have to un, you if you have to tink a decrease, it's a little bit. Yeah, but we did it. We, made we did it. it. But anyway, I, I love working. Oh, with I know what I wanted to say real quick. I don't oh, know yeah. if I said this. This this now that I have enough here for you to see. 
So if you don't want to do sweater, because I oh, know some folks don't want sweater. So look at this. You could knit this as a scarf or a shawl, right? Yeah, I Just, mean, it's it'd be sideways. Thick. It is going to be thick. It's, it's brioche, so but it's going to be But it wouldn't have to be a sweater, though. No, no. Not at all. Or... I also think if you were to knit it just long, right, and then you could make a gorgeous poncho. Yeah, you could. It would make a really pretty poncho. Just do a side seam. Mm -hmm. And they do um, on Ravelry. You can go on to Ravelry. They do have um, a broadleaf slouch hat. Slouch hat. And it's really kind of cute. So even so if join you, us if you still yeah, if and you're, don't be afraid. It's really it's, it's really. Not. I know everybody looks at it. And went, Ugh. It's really not that scary. And it's, it's memorizable. It is. It is. Yeah. So we want you to join us. We do. Um, we do. And we meet every Thursday morning at ten o'clock at the shop. And if you want to participate in the knit along but you can't make it into the shop. We are happy to FaceTime with sure. you or um, right. put a Zoom up, whatever mm -hmm. works out best for you. Mm -hmm. It's it's fun. Come join us. Make yeah. a sweater. It's nice. It's almost sweater weather. It is in some We're parts of the shawls, world. We're wearing shawls, though. We are. And do you, know, you recognize, recognize these? these shawls? Yes. I, yes. Yes. Well, they are both from um, Stephen West Mystery Knit Alongs. Yep. I, and I am sorry. I cannot tell you what year. But this is inspiration. Well, we did that one together, so right. it's been since you and I've been right. friends. It was. In, this is Inspiration Station. Three years ago, maybe we started yeah, maybe. that one. Yeah, I think so. So um, this is fun. It was, was a lot, he, and that was actually, an easy one. This was not a hard yeah, one no, at no, all. No, no. And that was your first brioche, wasn't it? Was it was my very first. That was our first foray brioche. into brioche, and it's a good one to do because you don't have to. You only just have the increases mm -hmm. at the end, so it's an easy one to learn brioche, and it's not gigantic right whereas the one i'm wearing is a lot bigger well you know steven loves those big gigantic. well he's a big guy he's like yeah. what six yeah something. he is a big guy so this was the one speckle and pop and i have to show it to you and Isn't of course super cool it is super cool i love these great big yarn overs too there's yeah. so much fun. can you see all that now there's the brioche at the bottom on this right. one here's her brioche right here yeah and the pattern does have it, so you don't have to do brioche. But this was so much fun. This was my, I actually finished this sitting on the back porch during when COVID first locked us down. Oh, that's right. That's, that's when I did all of in. this bottom part. I did all that sitting on the back porch yeah. back March a year ago. And, you know, we, um, in our shop here at Southern Twist, we really um, like Stephen West. and we, we do. We, he's so crazy. You know, we love doing his designs. He's so innovative and he's fun and he makes knitting fun. He and, really does. Um, he makes it exciting. So we are participating in our third mystery knit along. My first official yes, one. Yes. I'm actually going to cast on. This is really, she's very proud of me. I'm actually going to cast skeptical. on. She's skeptical that I'll do it. Well, <laughs> maybe on. I'll be out of town that day. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> But anyways, I have a tendency to wait until his mysteries are a little bit underway because I have a hard time following directions because it's just not in my nature to follow directions. And on a mystery, you kind of feel like you have to follow the directions. Well, so you have to, to simply because if you, you won't know what's next, right. you could mess up the whole pattern and not know. Exactly. So, um, Shawlography yes. is his um, next one. 2021 Mystery Knit Along. I do not remember. I think it's his 12th Mystery. Oh, I don't I even think, know that. I think it's I the no 12th idea. one. Don't hold me to that. No, I can't hold the last one. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Let me move over. Okay. So, Aren't these cute? These, these are not my colors. No, this is my. You see purple, but this is Brenda. This is my colors. Um, and so we've got some art yarns in there. We've mm -hmm. got some Manos in there. Yep. It's going to fall. Yeah, we've got some um, Emma's in here. <laughs> Emma's but in anyway, here. these are my colors, and I'm excited. And some of these you might recognize from her Broadleaf. Yes. Yeah, because I did try them with Broadleaf. <laughs> and this going to be gorgeous? It I is. just love it. I know. I'm excited about it. I, yeah. I always like doing his patterns. I don't know. They just, they're fun and exciting, they and fun. they're huge. And yes, you know, if you did Starflake, or not Star, well, Starflake was a that nightmare was a, for yeah, me. That well, was a that that was rough. Um, but if you did slip people. Stravaganza last year, you know, that was a huge, that was a beast. Mm -hmm. And he even mentions that in his videos. And I think it took me, I actually timed my mm -hmm. um, binding off yes. and it took me six, almost seven hours to yeah. bind off. Yeah. And I have to say this one, this one did took me 45. Time? So brioche is, you know, basically it's four rows make back and forth mm -hmm. and it took me 45 minutes for one yeah. crossing yeah. with brioche on this one yeah I, I, they're beasts but you know the, but it's, it's a piece of a art race. when you're done it yeah. is a piece of artwork and, and it's not a race no you know if you start it october 8th 
and you don't finish it until, until the next October. September next year, who cares? Who cares? Exactly. Who cares? Who cares? You know, but You're doing it um, for the love of yarn and absolutely. to be and to be happy. And to be with friends and to do something with half the world. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah. Thousands world, of people cast world, on I on the same day. Last year we do a party here at the shop. Um and this year we're mm -hmm. gonna do that again. Mm -hmm. And we have a TV here so we put him on the television and we so watch crazy. him as he kicks it off and um we are will be ordering pizza in this year. And right. it's it's fun because you get to you know, watch his antics. And oh yeah, talk he's about a, it. And I think I last swear he's year, wearing PJs. Can I, I just say that I, I think they're pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's wearing, but he's out there and he's fun. But we, um, I think last year when we saw that there were like almost six thousand oh, people, yes, that cast yes. it on. Yeah. And I always love watching the Instagram post afterwards to see what people have chosen and what they've mm -hmm. done. So we'll have a Ravelry group set up mm -hmm. too and, and, and try to remember to post our progress. Right. We don't always really do that. But if you want to join, yep. you may join us here. It is not a charge, of course, to join the Knit Along. Never. Um, but if you do want to um, participate in lunch, we're just going to ask for a small donation. And you can pay that when you get here. It's not a big deal. But let deal. us know because we have to make yes. sure we have enough room. So, so go onto our website. Um, southerntwistyarns.com and you will find a place where you can um, sign up and right. be here because you know we are still trying to be a little bit right. careful about how many people we cram in here. Mm -hmm. um, and we have curated kits for you. We do. This is one of my favorites. This is a lot of the Gems Lux fiber. They were here what three weeks ago? Yes. And um, this one's kit number five. And then we threw in a gray, a beautiful gray, um, steel gray dream, uh, dream to go with the Look Lux. That. Isn't that going to be just, that, I love this one. Yeah, really pretty. Those are all my. And you know, if you if you um, listen five. to any of his videos, he talks about how you don't want to have real highly speckled yarns. So. I think this one, this is number seven. And Look number beautiful. seven, I think, would go with just about almost everybody's wardrobe. Right. Anytime. Yeah. You know, exactly. we've, we've thrown in the red, but you could take, if you weren't a red person, you could still take those base colors there and then we could put a pop of another um, new blade blue. in there. You could do blue. You could do a oh, green. Yeah. You could do anything. So exactly. in this kit, we have um, art yarns. We yep. have um, two Life in the Long Grass. We have an Emma's and we have this Arucania, which is right. um, a single ply, uh, if, if you're not yep. familiar with Arucania. And it is a really lovely yellow yarn to me. It with. really is. I've done, used it a couple times now. So that's number seven. Really a beautiful set. Okay. This one's one that is really calling my name because uh, number eight. it's cotton. It's cotton. And it he, is 100% Peruvian cotton. It is an Amano cotton called Sammy. Mm -hmm. And it, it looks like a lot more yarn because there's not as much yardage. And you know, he said you need at least 100 grams per color. So this will have 100 grams per color. Right. You can change out your colors if you want. And it's not a heavy, that is not heavy, just no, so you know. it's a cotton. If you used every inch of that yarn, it is not going to be heavy. It's a, it's going to be lightweight and And we do have hot. other colors of this. So yes, if you want to mix and match other colors. But this mm -hmm. is um, kit number eight. If you're interested in this, mark it down, call the shop or or come in. We'll, we can FaceTime with you. We mm -hmm. can um, take pictures and right. text them to you, whatever you're whatever's easiest for you. This one is super fun, y'all. This like is it. yeah. This is number 3. And so there's the purple, there's that coral, there's that fun pop of yellow and two lovely shades of green. Oh, this green is really pretty cuz it's got all those colors. It, in it is. And if you were noticing on both of our Stephen West. Yes. Look, we have green, green pops. Isn't that funny? And I have that in mine this year. Yeah, and you've got your green pop. I mean, I it's know. just amazing what a shade of green will do. That other kit yeah, also has that green, green, and it's a different shade of green. This is kit number one. Number one. This is kit number one. But and they're this is similar but different. Yeah, well, the, their colors are very similar, mm -hmm. but they're different shades. Yep. Um, the difference in this one is it has... Yours has the purple, yep. mine has the blue. And mine has a brighter yellow. Right. This one has a brighter yellow. So this is kit number one. And this and one's three. In this kit, you have um, some Mad Tosh Twist Light. We have some Emma's. Uh, we have Dream in Color. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, not Emma's. I'm sorry. I don't think this That's is. That's Emma's. Is, is it, it yellow? Emma's? The yellow's Emma's. Oh, it is Emma's. I'm yeah. sorry. And um, Teeny Buttons. And Teeny Buttons. Who is uh, uh, Indie Dyer. 
um, in New Orleans, mm -hmm. who, by the way, survived the um, hurricane, Good. although she had yeah. some issues. And yeah. Robin, I were happy that you did okay, and mm -hmm. I see that you're already yeah. dying again. So that, <laughs> good for you. That's I'm I'm happy for that. But anyway, um, this is kit number one. And what what y'all are seeing that we do here at Southern Twist that you don't get at other places maybe yeah. is that we choose by the colors. If colors call our name, we don't care who's brand it is. No, we, no. That's I mean, we have say, we have favorite brands. We do, we do. that. We, we really have, prefer. Well, we all have that. But right. you don't have to knit a shawl out of all the same brand. No. And so that's no, no, what no, we do. We match. curate colors and blend them together from all different companies right. that we think will make a gorgeous right. Like if, if you're art. if you're doing um, this is a um, an art yarn, so there's a lot right. of cashmere in here. Um, this is Suzette. Suzette has silk in it. Um, mm -hmm. You just the the Tosh light, yeah, Tosh you know, light. has a little bit of um, nylon, and it's it's more of a sock yarn, but it's it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be good. No one cares. No one cares. Mm -mm. So uh, number if, two, number right. two. I almost forgot to say what number it was. And if you want to do this shawl, and you don't want to buy five new balls of yarn right. then bring in what you have correct and we will help you curate a kit and put kits together i did that twice last week yeah. already right and it, and if you can't make it in and you still want to join and you say hey i've got one two three colors will you help me we'll totally. facetime we'll yep. send you text what we have yeah. you can send us a you know picture of what you have and we'll put some colors together for you we'll ship them we'll if you live totally. close we'll deliver, deliver them to you or you can pick them up curbside whatever you're comfortable right. with but you know it's it's always fun to join a Stephen west um, oh, yeah. knit along especially the mystery and to see all everybody's colors that they i know choose. and that's that's what i love watching is how they all evolve and they and they go and again don't stress you know steven says just don't stress and uh, and we'll throw this in he also said that even if there is brioche in the pattern right. he has a non brioche that you always, can do and yeah, it's usually garter does. stitch yeah. I mean so that's easy he likes garter stitch he we asked him about stitch. that right. we asked him why he likes garter stitch and he said he doesn't like to purl <laughs> not funny so, yeah. I know a lot of people that don't like to pearl. See, I, I like pearling. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. But anyway, so that's our Stephen West um, October 8th. 8th. Um, join us. And if you would like to join us via Zoom, let us know. Yeah. And we can set up a Zoom on yeah. that too. And you it's can easy. join in the fun. Yeah. Um, and we can show you the pizza that we're eating. <laughs> And maybe you a sip of something. something fun. So another thing we want to talk about today that we just got <sighs> just in. Um is the new dream in color. Oh, this um, is so gorgeous. This color is so beautiful. As a matter of fact, I actually really sent gorgeous. an email to them today or yesterday and said this has got to be one of my most favorite colorways that Veronica has done. And this is one their pop-up club. We belong to their pop-up clubs all um, every year and she does one in the spring and one in the fall yep. and this is September and what's great about September are the colors that are in it yeah but where's the other one there it is I'm reaching <laughs> over girl sorry look at that this is um just some colors that we Here have I can do that in the store so you can put these together with this. This is so spectacular. It is. And it's it, so it is just rich. rich and beautiful oh. and uh, uh, just stunning to me. Mm -hmm. Just stunning. So, and, oh, and here, here it is with a, a mad touch. Yeah, we that have this little brown. brown. It's and, just And it's really just so pretty. pretty. I don't think, that, you know, you, I don't think you'd want to use a super bright color with it. You'd want to stay with more muted oh, colors. Oh, I agree. I agree. Um, I agree. But you could mix and match it with so many different so many different things. Um, so we were thinking, you know, the holidays are sneaking up on us. And so E.B. and I kind of walked around the shop and thought, what else can we put with this yarn? And we have these great kits from Wonderland, which is fabulous yarn. This is called Opposites Attract. And if you take the stream and put this together with these Opposites Attract, look at this. This um, is a fingering weight yarn uh, in here and this has uh, like a mohair and a silk with a little bit of a Stellina in it I don't know if you can see the sparkle but if you're looking for something for the holiday 
this would be a phenomenal shawl to knit. We have um, only three different colors of kits. But I there. think they're super neat. I mean, they are really pretty. Look at this. I heard you thing. say how much fun we had, but I mean, we just started walking around the shop and we were, it was I like, said, oh, oh, look, look at these combos. Which we do all day long, by the way. Oh, well, that's because we love color. <laughs> and we love yarn. And we love yarn. We, oh, we wouldn't be here. But um, this is, so this is absolutely gorgeous. And really it is, are. Um, would, if you want to do a holiday shawl and... Oh, yeah. Luckily, Dream has um, oh, this a cool. pattern. A pattern set. There's actually a four that she did for this yarn. Right. So that's the first pattern. Eclipse? Is this one Eclipse? That's called Eclipse. This mm -hmm. one's Eclipse. And we saw on Ravelry where there's a 40% coupon. And we need to figure, we're going to look into that and figure this out. But with the coupon, you get the whole pattern book for 40% off. Six and patterns, every, right? Yeah. Six and patterns, every pattern yeah. is really cute and not hard. No. But they there's were, some, there's some, there was a, well, there is a brioche one in there. There was so one brioche. Might think that but so like, this is just, that is stockinette, y'all. And all you're going to be doing is changing your colors, right? And you're going to pick up here and then knit that way. And then you'll pick up here and knit that way. And I'll do a, I'll do a video to show you how to, how to, if people want to do this one, I'll do a little video that we can right. put up and It'll show really you how pretty. to pick up those stitches. Yeah. It'll be really I, pretty. It'll be so. I'm looking forward to doing this one. Yeah, I, I like it. I just like the the different. I mean, and you can put any yarn in there, but it but it's I knits think it's and just pearls. That's really it. Really fun. Knits and pearls, girls. Right. I don't even think there's yarn overs in there. No, there's no yarn overs. But it's the color. It's the colors that will make that really special Correct. and make it pop. And you can make that as long. You know, we've got even. I was telling Evie, we've got some even little mini kits here. Mm -hmm. So you could put little mini kits together and just make each stripe a different color. That'd be cute if you want, and it sure. would be fun. It's. I think it's a. It's a great pattern. Yeah, you can. Ease, it's an. It looks to me to be like Excuse one me. of those patterns you can easily modify. Oh, I think so. I think so. Okay. So um, before we go, we want to remind you of our uh, retreat that's coming up October 22nd. Oh, awesome. It is held at Humming Star Alpaca Farm mm -hmm. in beautiful Silver Hill, Alabama. Just, not too it's far like from seven us. miles from here, I yeah. think. I looked on Google Maps. And we are really excited about this. Um, it's going to be a lovely day. We're going to start the it's day. It's going to be a whole day. And it's going to start with a yummy breakfast from Fairhope Chocolates. Mm -hmm is um, supplying breakfast. We're going to have a nice meditation to start the day and set the intention for the day. We'll um, be knitting a lovely shawl that Jill of Knit yep. Sisu so. is um, designed for us. She's so sweet. If you haven't, wait till you meet her, y'all. Yeah. She is just and the she'll sweetest be there. Thing. And I'm, I'm hoping that we can get her to do a podcast here with us when we get that would a be closer awesome. to the event. She's and so, she can talk about the so shawl. So nice. Yeah. And we're going to have the um, shawl will be here in the studio, in the shop for you to take a look at as well. Yeah. Um, and you'll uh, have a kit. Right. The kit includes one skein of um, alpaca, 100% alpaca from Humming Star, from right. right direct from the animal that you'll be able to see yeah. and pet and pet feed. And feed. Um, I can't wait. I want to feed them. <laughs> I've never done does. that. I've um, never done and that. We, and we are going to be doing some yoga, but I just want to tell you about the yoga because the yoga is going to be gentle yoga. Yes. It is not going to be stressful yoga where you're are not going to have to get down on the ground. You will be able to sit in a chair. So please do not stress over the yoga. Do not let that prevent you from coming. And we'll bring chairs. Yes. For those of you who really would want right. to be out there with the alpaca, but you don't want to, you can't stand very long or something. Right. We're going to have chairs for you. Yeah, don't worry about it's it. It's all about relaxing. It is. And then, and the yoga that um, Hillary is designing is going to be for mostly our upper bodies. Good. You know how to stretch our upper bodies and our hands and our necks and our shoulders and work on our postures. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, we're going to do Good. that. We'll I have love that. I'm looking forward to time. learning what Hillary has to share yeah, with us. It's going to be great. Um, I had dinner and with lunch. her last night. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah. You did. I did. So and then lunch is going to be. Yes. Yeah, so we'll have. Yeah. Have a yummy lunch that's going to nice healthy yummy lunch that will have a lot of um, different things and options for you to choose from. whether so you're, if vegan you're vegan or vegetarian right, or, right, or whatever we'll have we'll have something every, for you all the choices. we have door prizes I can't wait we for have that. A, do we get to win door prizes yeah, I don't know maybe. <gasps> she probably won't let me win door prizes you're getting paid leave ah! <laughs> <laughs> and um, we also will have a little goodie bag for you. That'll be nice. So th there's lots, th there's a lot going on. Yeah. And so I really hope that you'll consider joining us. Go on to our website. There are a few spots um, left. There are a few spots left. You can sign up there. And if you want to know more about Humming Star, you can visit their website right. and or actually, excuse me, uh, their Facebook page. Facebook page and right. if you want to know more about Jill, 
um, look for Nitsisu, and she you can find her on Instagram. She's got a lot of designs out there besides the one that she's doing for us. Right. So you and she's on Ravelry. Her. She's on Ravelry as well. And mm -hmm. um, so we are really excited, and I hope you'll consider joining us. Yeah, there are we, spots left. we got people coming from a variety of states already. Yeah, right. So wherever state you're from, we'd love for you to come That's join right. us. <laughs> So um, don't be afraid, and again, don't worry, don't stress. And I should also add that if you don't even want to attempt the yoga, which you don't have to, oh, this, course not. we are going to have a little tent, tent. so you can sit outside mm -hmm. and at least watch and still interact with the alpacas. And they are right. just darling, darling animals, so you'll want to gonna... be able to do that. But if you go to um, Humming Star's Facebook page, you'll see some videos um, she has some, Cheryl has some videos on there of uh, the alpaca video oh, uh, yoga. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of get an idea of, of right. how that works and you don't have to be concerned about that. Right. It's just going to be way. And somebody asked if, if she's had, she uses a wheelchair, electric wheelchair. Right. And that's totally cool. Yeah. No problem. There's not a problem with that either. Yeah, she's, yeah, we, we can, told her it was perfectly fine. Right. She'll be great. It'll be good. Right. So we look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, give us a call. Please Go do. out to our website. Yep. You can still sign up. Um, cutoff date for that is October 10th, so another month. Yeah. So you've got plenty of time. Right. But don't wait. Don't wait. Come join us. Because it won't us. take long. Okay, It's everyone. gorgeous here. Come visit us. Yes. Have a wonderful <laughs> weekend. Bye. Bye-bye.